Uh, if you have pictures, please tag us in Instagram and also Gala Stars Culinary. Welcome to everybody. Uh, we're going to do a Christmas special because we know natin it's near the Christmas season already. So, um, just to demonstrate how versatile the Samsung Smart Oven is, we are doing two recipes. One is baking. So you can actually bake using your Samsung Smart Oven. And the other recipe is a uh, chicken mac casserole. So it's a very versatile um, equipment to have in the kitchen. And like what our Samsung representative said, it's a space saver. And uh, you can do your recipes and come forward. I will demonstrate the first recipe. All right. Two is the Christmas uh, choco cupcakes. And I will read our ingredients. Um, we prepare 12 2 inch microwavable ramekin muffin cups with muffin paper. The ingredients for the cake you have 2 squares unsweetened chocolate. Okay. You have 1 third cup softened salted butter. You have 1 fourth cup all purpose cream. 1 and 1 fourth cup cake flour. That is one of the secrets to the recipe today. Um, in order for your cupcake to, bear, to be very uh, soft and not dry, we are using cake flour. You have one cup granulated sugar, one whole egg, a teaspoon of vanilla, one half teaspoon baking soda, and three fourths cup water. So very easy. Our ingredients, you can find it all in the supermarket. So procedure, put it in a microwavable mold, unsweetened chocolate bars in the butter, cover with wrap. Set Samsung Smart Oven Microwave Mode 700 watts and time 1 minute. Remove the wrap and mix chocolate and butter with whisk. Add all the ingredients except the flour. Mix well for 1 minute. Add flour and mix 1 minute more until no more flour is seen in the mixture. Scoop mixture onto muffin paper. Transfer uh, to Samsung Smart Oven. Set Samsung Smart Oven Microwave Plus Convection Mode to 180 degrees centigrade time 3 minutes and 30 seconds. So that's how fast this recipe is. It's very easy, it's very efficient. It's actually your consumption on electricity is cheaper than the consumption in gas. So in this recipe, very favorable you adding Samsung Smart Oven. Tap the center of the cake with a spoon. If it springs back, it is finished. Cool. If let's say after 3 minutes and 30 seconds, you just return in another 30 seconds more. But some people like the parang molten type of cupcake. So actually if medyo wet siya, it's a trend now, you can actually use that cupcake. Yung medyo moist siya. Okay? Top with whipping cream and the sprinkles. So first thing we're going to do in our microwavable bowl, we will add our chocolate. Okay? and our butter. Now, very important in baking, the butter has to be soft, okay? We never use hard or frozen butter. We always use soft butter, okay? So that we don't uh, have to cream the butter anymore, okay? Then, okay, then, we will put our wrap, okay? So this will prevent the butter from going all over your Samsung Smart Oven, okay? So it's very clean, okay? You put it inside, and it will melt the chocolate. Microwave mode, 700 watts, and we time one minute and press start. Hi, Berna. So, Berna is with uh, the market in the future. Okay, so we're melting the chocolate in our Samsung Smart Oven. Before, many chefs, they would tell us, oh, you cannot melt uh, chocolate in the microwave because it will be like this, like that, like that. Then, a few years later, they realized that it's actually better to melt the chocolate inside the microwave because there is no introduction of water, like double boiler, or pag direct heat, means na susunog our chocolate, it becomes bitter. So, using the microwave energy is actually the best and most efficient way to melt your chocolate. Alright? 
37 degrees uh, centigrade, right? Okay, so when you hold chocolate or you put it in your mouth, it melts in your mouth, okay? So same thing. Now, right now, it looks solid, but with the use of the whisk, it will begin to melt. Okay, just like that. Until the chocolate is completely melted. For flavor. Here we go. So we're using a whisk until it completely melts. Our sugar. Okay. We also add our vanilla. Okay, baking soda. And also our cake. Thank you. Okay. Now, you can use a whisk to mix this, or you can use a hand mixer, whichever makes your life easy. So even the kids, they can make this recipe. Huh? Mix until everything is well combined. Chef, look at the other cookbooks. They said, oh, you have to mix the sugar first, then add it one at a time. No, we are very modern now. Just add all the ingredients together and mix well, except for the flour. Okay? Okay, then we add our flour. Okay. So again, you can use the whisk if you like, or if you want to be very fast, you can use the hand mixer. Since we have a hand mixer, we'll use the hand mixer enough. That makes your life easy. Finish the shot. So, when you're using the mixer, keep it straight. Speed number one. So we always start at speed number one, because if we start at speed number three, all the flour will go to our face. You will look like a clown. Okay. Until there's no more flour. Very easy, very much. Then you will get your ice cream. I'm sorry, in water bag. Okay, and our you know, cream, all purpose cream. Sorry, it's that. Okay, so we will get our. Okay, and we will put about half full down. Half, okay, because this will go up. Okay, just like that. Now I know in the recipe it says 12. Put the 6 aside. This one, we use the microwave uh, plus convection mode. 100, uh, sorry, 180 degrees centigrade. Okay, so 180C, we time for Three minutes, 30 seconds, then we press start.